Third Spake Brewery in Bettendorf, in the, the outer rim the of outer Bettendorf, rim, yes. right? Uh, like, if I were to throw a, an empty beer can that way, we would yep. no longer be in Bettendorf. That is correct. It's crazy because at one point, I'm old enough to remember uh, when there were no breweries in Bettendorf. Now there too. are now there are five. Right. And are you're the fifth? I believe so. Yes. How about that? So nerd Very speak. Exciting. We were here last year mm -hmm. when this was walls, and Not you were kind walls, of walls sticks sticks <laughs> and walls. And and Aaron, you were kind of walking us through. Mm -hmm what this was going to be, what your vision was, uh, how much of the vision would you say has been realized? I'd say at least 90%, if not almost 100. I mean, I feel like we've gotten pretty much what we thought it was gonna look like for the most part. So that's really exciting. I'm excited the way our bar turned out. It's very industrial and uh, fits our, our branding and our location very well. The vibe in here is, you want people to come and enjoy the, the beer that you're making, mm -hmm. but also enjoy themselves. Yeah. There's all kinds of games that you want people to, to be mm -hmm. able to feel free to take and play. And yep. you got, I mean, pinball. Well, and can't go wrong what, is, with what is Cosmotron? <laughs> that looks like, I call it, it looks like it's either from the future or the past. I can't decide. Yes and yes. Okay, So right. I call it Galaga, but against each other. So like multiplayer ah. Galaga. So you got little, little spaceships you're fighting each other with. It's a very challenging game. I've tried many times, and I think I've only won once. So oh, only won once. Yeah, <laughs> and you can play against. It looks like four players. Yeah, we can have four players on there. It's a great game to uh, just play against each other. I think the more beers you have, too, you, you get better at it. More fluid. I was here in the <laughs> summer when you were kind of, sort of open. The mm -hmm. tap room wasn't open. Correct. You've been brewing for a lot. Yeah, I'm um, since June. So you've been able to have people come and get the beer and, and mm -hmm. take the beer. What does it mean to have them drink it in a space where you can watch them consume it? Yes, so I think number one is uh, real-time feedback, of course, which is great. Number two, just people staying longer, having more than one beer. I mean, buying four packs is nice, because they can enjoy it later, but also having the ability to come have a bite, pint, try flights, you know, even get cans to go as well, really helps. And it's great to, to see people in here and just enjoy themselves and, and have a nerdy time. So when you're making the beer, you've got it in your mind, you want to design beers with profiles and ABV levels, mm -hmm. designed for them to have more than one. You've built a space where part, you want people yeah. to really hang out. Sure, absolutely. I mean, there's always a balance because as a, personally, I enjoy the bigger beers, the stronger beers, but know that, yeah, you're limited in how many you can have. And, and even me, I can only have one or two of those at a time, right. but we've got a lot of other beers that are 6% or lower that you can also enjoy a couple of, so it's Does great. being way out here, and it's not really that far out in the scheme of things, like LeClaire is just over right. there, and Bettendorf's really only, you know, we're in Bettendorf technically, mm -hmm. but you're, you are kind of an island out here, aren't you? A little bit, yes. I, I imagine that's got its pluses and its minuses. I agree. So the, to counter that, I would say, yeah, we are five minutes from the Betplex. You can get to the Betplex in five minutes. So. Right. That's great, so hopefully we just want to get the word up there so that people can come down here. Um, we are less than 10 minutes from LeClaire. Adventurous is also maybe another five to 10 minutes from us as well. It's just there's something about so. Quad Cityans when everything is 15 minutes away, <laughs> where if something is 16 minutes away, True. we think of that as like we're driving to Ohio. Right, or crossing the bridge. <laughs> or, or, or heaven forbid, right. you, you have, have to, to cross, cross the, the bridge. bridge. Which I do every day. The beers <laughs> that you make, Tell me about them. What are, what are you what are you most so, uh, proud of? What's the beer that you feel the best about that you've made so far? So I love hazy IPAs. Those are my favorite. They're also one of the hardest beers to make, in my opinion. To get truly world-class beers that are hazy IPAs is challenging. So I've been working hard on that and trying to come up with multiple varieties of that. The other one that I really like is Belgian style beers. I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, I think, we but, did uh, last, last I think time I've, we were here. We talked about yeah. Belgians and how that's not something that a lot of people right. do, which is nuts, because this is, there's a big Belgian community Absolutely. here, right? In fact, I think I have some Belgian heritage as well. So Perfect. This might be part of it. But um, So at this point, we've had at least one or two Belgian beers on tap since we opened. So we've had a Belgian Trappel, we have a Belgian Dubel. I did a Belgian IPA, which is kind of a Belgian IPA. Yeah, not heard of very often. Yeah, but I don't know if I've ever heard of it. It actually is a recognized style of beer. Wow. Um, probably the most famous is Revolution has one called uh, a little bit crazy, or something crazy. Can't remember exactly, but anyway. Um, and then you know I'm gonna have a saison coming up here relatively soon. So always there's a lot of different styles, and to me they're unique, and 
fun beers and very tasty, very different. Now that nerd culture has gone and become pop culture, yes. I, I wonder, like everything I see on the walls, you put mm -hmm. a lot of thought into what you're, mm -hmm. what you're doing here with the decorations. Yes. You're, you're, you're in charge of the yep. interior design? a lot of it. So a lot of sure. what we see here reflects your tastes, mm -hmm. your interests. Mm -hmm. Which is all over the place. Right. But. <laughs> it really is. You have this beautiful mural. Mm -hmm. And if you know what that mural is about, right. if you're able to recognize exactly. the movie, you have like, Easter egg. Exactly. Can I ask you about the, the Easter eggs that are all over the place? So I think a lot of it is just in working with the, the artist on that mural. I, I, you know, I gave her some pictures and, and drawings of what I liked, and she's been really good at, uh, it's her and her partner are doing a really good job at just putting elements of different types of that genre into a mural. They did the same thing with the mural back here. Right. It's a lot of spaceships from sci-fi. So um, for me, it's I'm a huge fan of the cyberpunk culture, the, the Blade Runner, um, the Ghost in the Shell, a lot of those different type of movies. And she was able to bring those elements and put them in here, as well as some of our beer labels, which, um, you know, all of our beers are named after movie quotes. So that kind of ties it all together. So there's some some aspects of that as well in the in the mural. I wonder if the mural in the artwork is somehow analogous to when you're making beer, right? Loving a style of right? something, yep, exactly. tweaking it to your specific mm -hmm. tastes, and then maybe even putting. I mean, do you put? Can you put an Easter egg in a beer? Um, we do it with some of our labels. Do you still package the beer for people to take? Yes. So we have four packs of pretty much everything that we sell on tap. Uh, some of the bigger beers or more special beers will be limited in, in what we sell in cans, but for the most part. We have four packs available. So you come to Nerd Speak, you fall in love with what you have on mm -hmm. tap. Beer always tastes better at the brewery. Yes, and then agree. You, Fresh as possible. You, you bring that beer home mm -hmm. and you, you cherish it there. Yep. And then you look for the Easter eggs on the cans. The Easter <laughs> eggs there. So Aaron, it's Nerd Speak. Yeah. I don't have to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them. <laughs> uh, it's Nerd Speak here in Bettendorf, a terrific new place. And uh, get here now yeah. and then enjoy the faces. It's a brewery we can watch grow up together. Absolutely. Aaron, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Cheers. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers.